You heard what Jonathan Thaler, Nobel Prize winning economist, had to say. We've heard it so many times. People are confused. People don't know why this is uh, happening, this grind upwards in stocks, and yet it just keeps happening. Well, first, I just want to comment on this, this, this whole thought that this whole market is all about Trump tax cuts. You know, we, we've done some work recently to look at what a basket of high tax companies are doing compared to the rest of the market, and they've been largely underperforming. Um, so they outperformed a little bit right after the election. They're, they're, they're doing a little bit better. But this is not a market that's being driven by, you know, a promise of some change out of Washington. It's, it's better economics. The, the PMIs, these forward-looking economic indicators, are better not in the U.S. They're better everywhere. The earnings season looks like it's going to be a good one. And so I don't think this is about complacency. I think it's about, you know, decent underlying fundamentals. So I take your point, but are you saying then that if we definitively don't get some kind of tax reform, and it's not just the corporates, mm -hmm. right? It's also money in people's pockets, presumably middle class tax cuts, which would give, you know, middle class people a little more to spend, create more confidence in the economy. If that doesn't happen, that we won't see a drop? So I, if, if you think that there's none of this in the market, if the market's not responding, then the market shouldn't be all that disappointed if it doesn't happen. So I would argue that the guys who really should be making a bet right now are people who believe that it's going to happen and it's going to be good for stocks. They're the ones who should get in and buy a basket of high tax rate companies. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I, I don't think that the market's really at risk. And I also think that people are missing the fact that if this happens, I mean, think about the, the repercussions. You're, you're juicing an economy that already is at full employment. We're at 4.2 unemployment. So you're likely to see a pickup in wage inflation. That's not good for margins. The Fed is likely to get more involved. So be careful what you wish for. This may sound great that you're putting more money in people's hands, but I'm not sure that this is going to be as, as wonderful for stocks as perhaps the pundits are saying it All is. right. Well, even if we say, if we go along with your argument that this isn't a tax reform market, this isn't even a Trump market, this right. is more a healthy economy market, we still have 50 points to go on the S&P 500 according to your target this year and another couple of hundred next year. Where do you see the health of the economy except for employment, which has been good all along anyway, and a little bit of manufacturing pickup? Right. Okay, and so, that, some of that's due to the hurricanes. Right. So let's take a look at, at where we, you know, where we get the markets run. So let's say we're talking about 10 or 11 percent. About two thirds of that is coming from earnings, and so revenues are healthy. Should come in about four and a half percent. Companies are buying back one and a half. That's six. Um, energy has easy comps because oil prices have been rising. That gives you about one. So that's seven percent earnings number of the of the 10 or 11 is kind of baked in that there's, there's relatively little risk here. The, perhaps the area that I'm more optimistic than others is that I think that stock multiples, PEs, are going to rise over the next year, even though they're high. And I think that people are troubled by something which is above average getting even more above average. But that's what I think is going to happen. And the big reason is recessionary risks are low. And when recessions are not on the horizon, multiples tend to drift higher. Volatility is low. That tends to contribute. And interest rates are low as a discount rate. So everything right now, to me, points to higher valuations, even though there's not a question they're high. But that's not the, 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 the issue. It's where they're going next.